Welcome to another episode of the uh, the Pat Down. I'm here with Chris and Dion and Delicious. Faison Lovish. Faison Lovish. Delicious. Your name Delicious. <laughs> Chop you know. <laughs> Nigga, you look like an Oreo with hair on it. <laughs> 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 he sure do. You look like a black Bernie from Sesame Street. I, <laughs> <laughs> I look like an Oreo with hair. Deal, you like a praying mantis. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stay tuned after the music. After the uh, music, we gonna hear what this Oreo with hair and his prime master, and see who attack each other. To win, my money's on the prime master. (laughs) (laughs) When I tell you every motherfucking thing happened to me today, every motherfucking thing happened to me today. What'd you say? When I tell you every motherfucking thing happened to me today, every motherfucking thing happened to me today. Is you having another baby? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, though. <laughs> you got me fucked up. My my vagina don't work like that. I've had so I go to the dentist, right? And uh, I go to the dentist, and they uh, I went for a cleaning. I go in there, I got all these brand new cavities that done popped up in my mouth like little roaches. So he said, well, it's more important if I fill your teeth. And clean. I knew I had one, but I, I've been gone so long. I just didn't have time to get it filled. You Most haven't of, seen MAGA Man in how long? Who? MAGA Man here in Plainfield? Yeah, because he was just grinding my teeth down to keep getting money. That's what I believe. Mm. But um, um, so I just haven't had time to go to the dentist. So I found a dentist here last year before I moved here. I'm sorry, y'all. Are you okay? Yeah, let me turn my camera. I need to blow my motherfucking nose. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, my So they gnaw my mouth today. You know how when they gnaw your fucking mouth, you know, your mouth be feeling like, my motherfucking nose felt like it was fucking not kill side. <laughs> yeah. I said, why my nose feels like I'm black? <laughs> <laughs> Then my, my lips all swole up. He's like, "Well, it's all up in the roof." So he, he feel my front too. And yeah, did y'all did you see not get a link? No, I can. I'll do that right now. Yeah. So he said, um, uh, he said, "Well, you got a tooth that needs to be filled, and then I got three cavities and all kinds of shit." And then I get a phone call from the school. It says somebody done Google porn on my third grader laptop. Third grade? How it holds a third grader? Saish, hey. So I said, ma'am, ain't nobody did that but her sister. So I'm going to beat her motherfucking ass. How about they send defects on my house? They did? Today. That I mean, they, it's your version of child services, right? Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, all because Elsa think, was getting naked. <laughs> do you need me to hide the podcast feed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't need this as evidence in your trial, but uh, what'd you say? I mean, fuck them kids is one of your mottos. Maybe yeah. I should That's have what I told take her. the feed down. I said, if you can find a better home, take them with you. I'm on my <laughs> way. That's what I told that bitch. Yeah, hung up on I said, what the fuck you hanging up on me for? <laughs> yeah, you need to just get a lawyer. Just don't talk to him without a lawyer. I, I'm not talking to nobody. I said, come get them, bitch. Come get them. Don't call me. And then she goes, it was so graphic. It was, I said, well, man, what was it? And she, this is what she said. And I'm, y'all, y'all about to see this turn into a whole bit. Well, she, I said, what was it, ma'am? What did she Google? She, she, she Googled. It, on her computer, it was a man anatomy in a lady's mouth. So I was like, anatomy? Why that word sound for me? So I said, ma'am, well, she's she Google dick sucking. <laughs> no, I'm like, hey, want to snap me, babe? 
<laughs> How much for anatomy? <laughs> I got forty dollars. <laughs> I said, "Why are you using big words, now? You can say dick. I'm grown." <laughs> I've been sitting deep face on my. Eyeballs. I said, I said, then she said the booty hole was scratched out. I said, "What? You sure <laughs> she was watching prolapse videos." <laughs> <laughs> then she said, he, the vagina was scratched all out. The man was pulling uh, uh, deal dose in the vagina. I said, how much of it did you watch? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like she did pretty good cliff notes. <laughs> man, did boy. she say what website it was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she have a link? <laughs> I wonder if I've seen that video too. <laughs> 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 did any of the kids fess up to it hell no they, they, i said look ma'am i said i'm gonna keep it real with you i said these kids are born on crack and they're horny there's nothing i can do about it <laughs> Oh, Take you them kids that? away from her. You should not say that to DCS. What are you doing? <laughs> I said that to the principal. <laughs> oh, said, okay. Yeah, I that said, what, she's I a said, mandatory reporter. <laughs> I said, crack kids born on crack got more sexual activity than anything. Their mama is a hoe and their daddy is a hoe too. I said, so what do you expect for them to produce? Small hoes. <laughs> 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 Too big holes I have make spent those small holes. 20 years <laughs> as a libertarian reading every horror story about DCS and and you just can't you can't talk to these people like that. You can't. Man, I told that that lady walked in here. I was like, girl, fuck you. I said, I said, if you can find something better, be my pleasure. Cause I don't get nothing for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the move. You let hey. the state take them, and then you have Nikea foster them and get paid. No. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Cause they won't give me shit. What my motherfucking money is, nigga. Hey, between them and my son saying his, uh, he like playing with his coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Did she uh, tell you about that today? No. Oh my god. <laughs> he said, like, "Grandma, I like, I like playing my coconuts." And then pull down his pants. I said, "Nigga, oh, I don't have enough of these baby ass today." <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is today? <laughs> it's not. I don't even today. want to be a part of this. <laughs> what is this like? Hey, so did you right move now. to Atlanta on Epstein Island or what? Like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I, I'm, I'm, I've had a rough fucking day. I'm telling you. I went to the. I went to the. It all started. I went to the dentist for a fucking fill. I mean, a cleaning, and I ended up walking away fucking feeling. Man, drilling in my mouth, dropping crumbs and dirt. And I'm like, dude, I'm about to, I'm, that's why I always go to the dinner with panty liners on. I'm leaking this shit. I'm scared. And I was like, I, I said, I said, do you realize that's why people walk on here with raggedy ass mouth? Don't nobody want no jackhammer in their goddamn mouth. I know. <laughs> and then it's like smell and your teeth is, is all that, blowing is in your that face. Is that why the kids Google a dick sucking to see what it's going to be like when they go to the dentist? To get their mouth drilled? <laughs> You might be right. I said, I, I just don't want to say so y'all continue to embarrass me. I've had enough of you motherfuckers. That is crazy. Would you, would, did it happen computer. at Yeah, did it happen at school? Maybe it was like one of oh, her classmates? No, it was, it, they, they had the exact time. I, I said, the man, it's Friday at 6.35. I said, could you tell me, do y'all have the camera? Can you look at the camera and tell me who was in front of that computer at the time? Ooh, can they? I don't know. I'm gonna call her back tomorrow, but she might not speak to me because she sent me text to my house. No, they have to. They, they're mandatory reporters. They have to by law. If she if but we found she out did, that she, she didn't, she, she didn't send them over there for that because I'm quite sure kids try that all the time. She sent them over there because I said I'm gonna whoop her motherfucking ass. Oh. And then she said, "Well, make sure you hit on her behind." I said, "I'm gonna hit that bitch upside the head." <laughs> <laughs> there are times not to be a comedian and <laughs> mandatory reporters are one of them doctors court officers police officers if it was the nfl they wouldn't care they they shit about the <laughs> yeah have you thought about playing football you can get away with whatever <laughs> i'm saying you motherfuckers hey, so the thing for me today i got well i got poor dope no, miss pat i've got it here's the here's the solution just announce you're running for senate 
<laughs> do whatever you want to do. Nobody will say shit. You got Me pulled over. The, you you right. You right. Because if Herschel Walker can do it, Miss Pat mother, can do it. That motherfucker said, "You know, big pony lay a horse maneuver, and out of that horse maneuver came two ponies." <laughs> what? <laughs> It be sound like Herschel Walker be talking backwards to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Nikea. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna, every time I look at him, I always get resemblance of my real father every time. I don't know why. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> well, you got right now how he talk too. He real damn sound. A nigga don't need no credit. That's why I stay in the room house so they don't check my credit. <laughs> Okay. If Herschel Walker can do it, I know I can do it. <laughs> yeah, he's so, he's he's got a badge too, doesn't Ikea? <laughs> and and, and uh, what's his name? Uh, the governor <clears throat> Kemp just beat the black off of Stacey Abrams. I know it was like I ain't even voted. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Indiana. <laughs> I know. I mean, I guess the white folks say, we ain't gonna be able to let this right here happen. And, and, and <laughs> we saying, and we saying, we see, motherfucker, we see. They did not want Stacey Abram ass. They did not want her. Now, that, Wasn't she that, closer to last time? She sure was. She loved. People just didn't vote. Well, I, well, we, well, we on the radio, we asked people, did they vote? And they was like, black people called and said, I just couldn't get on her stands with abortions. You know, she she was not for abortion. She was for abortion. I thought, the bitch who called in, I said, ma'am, let me ask you something. I said, you ever had your boyfriend tell you what you can and can't do with your body? Yeah. I said, did it piss you off? She said, yeah. I said, so what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, somebody should have aborted you. Who the fuck are you? Who the Fuck is this country to tell us what we can and can't do with our body? But like I said on stage at night with all these soft dicks running right here, ain't nobody trying to motherfucking pick these caterpillar dicks up. <laughs> ain't nobody Actually, trying to pick them up. <laughs> they, they make pills every day to pick those caterpillar yeah, dicks yeah. up. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to turn right now. butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think that they should cut them off. What? It's a radical stance. That's that's damn right. So radical stands and tell me I can't get no motherfucking abortion. I should be able to do what the fuck I want to do with my body. This is my body. Nigga, I don't, if I want to suck my own toes and eat my own booty, I should be able to do that. And that's impossible for me. Let's work on tying, say, let's work on tying say, your shoes first. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hey, just, I had the mental image of you eating your own booty. Miss <laughs> 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 Pat found dead upside down suffocated <laughs> by her own asshole. <laughs> a body today was found contorted in an unusual manner. So she just slide them on her feet. <laughs> she went looking for a snicker. <laughs> Oh my God! Did you not see... going anywhere for a while? <laughs> <laughs> did you see Ari Shafir open his special with you? I did. I did. Yeah, did you... uh, really... it was funny too. It was very funny. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I, 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 I haven't seen it yet. What do you say? He was having lunch with Miss Pat, and Miss Pat, an Orthodox Jew, walked by, and she said, "Ari, why he got that curly head, curly fry on his head?" <laughs> Or something he imitated her. <laughs> he did it much better. Uh, mm -hmm. but it's literally the, like the first two minutes of his special. He's talking about Miss Pat. And the oh, set, is, that on Net is that on Netflix? I, I saw it on YouTube. You saw it up. I, yeah, it's, um, this special funny too. Yeah, maybe I can pull it up here. Hold on, I, think, I didn't even get to see it. Well, let's just take a quick break while I find it. Okay. So they shot me in my mouth today, and I guess I guess my boogers dried out, so I'm having a very hard time with my nose right now. From the, the anesthesia coming out, but yeah. anyway, anyway, um, yeah, he opened a special with me. It was very fucking funny too. Thank you, Ari Shafir. Yeah, I, I, I got it. It was funny. <laughs> what about you? No value. 
You got the volume off, Chris. <laughs> this is hilarious, Chris. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Like, I feel like we're in Gotham Night with all the If you all would shut the fuck up, you could hear it. <laughs> no, we can't. can't That's hear. what we're trying to tell you. Hit, hit, the, hit oh. the button down here. Hit the, the speaker. Oh. It ain't, it, you stupid motherfucker. You got on mute. Hit the button down there. Oh, hold on. This is like I'm a white mute? man not listening to black people when they tell them what the problem is. <laughs> At the bottom. <laughs> it's like, I, uh, can uh, you hear me? Yeah, but we can't hear that. You got to hit the speaker down there, baby. I don't know why. Yeah, hit that. The speaker, the, the volume thing down there. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Sorry. Bless your heart. <laughs> yeah, whenever you see one, just go finish him. And they'll, they'll have no idea what you're talking about. It's great. The ones with the, you know, the sideburns, the long, the curly fries, as my black friend calls them. <laughs> yeah, my friend Miss Pat, she came to visit me in New York. She'd never seen one. There's very few Hasidic Jews in the black ghetto of Atlanta. <laughs> Fuck you, all. She, she saw her first when we were talking, she just goes like. <laughs> 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 she was like, Ori. She doesn't say my name, but she's like, uh, Ori. <laughs> Is that an Amish? And I'm like. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, more or less, yeah. It's pretty much the same shit. <laughs> she goes, why that man has curly fries? <laughs> I'm like, those are not curly fries. She goes, what they do? And I'm like, first of all, the grammar on you people is on <laughs> And by you people, I don't mean black people. I mean non-Jews. <laughs> you know, we don't see skin color. We see IQ and income level. That's all. <laughs> it's a uh, Jew is the special. It's on his YouTube channel. You can watch it there. It is so. It was so funny. I watched half of it. I'm gonna get finished all the half. Did you watch the whole thing? Mm -mm. I just saw that because my brother-in-law was like, "Did you see this?" And I and he showed me, but. And they somebody who was that? Was that you said that? How much I was googled after that special? No, it wasn't me. But we can look it up. Yeah, they said somebody called and said, "Do you know you are being googled like crazy since Ari mentioned your name?" It's all those guys... Amish people looking you up <laughs> for talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I had never seen that before. Honestly, I had never saw that, seen that until we were sitting in the park. I was like, oh, all right. Is that I Amish saw man? I saw an Amish dude in a buggy on the highway as I was coming home. <laughs> he was going off the off ramp of the highway. <laughs> One horse just trotting along. <laughs> I was driving up from uh, Kentucky. I had a show, and uh, on the overpass of the highway coming down the off ramp, just an Amish man in his buggy. His horse was fucking booking it. I, 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 I took some back roads on Kentucky, and I was like, there was a bunch of buggies and horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I know what you're talking that's about. That's a mailman. That's a mailman. <laughs> you say it was a mailman? Yeah, there mailman. wasn't any. There was. I didn't see any, like, major bump of the where I looked. Nothing spectacular. Yeah, that's what somebody told me. But I was like, man, no, that's when it first came out. Oh, yeah. No. It, yeah. It's, so far, he got 3 million views. I'm gonna drop my next special like that. On YouTube? Yeah, Can I'm gonna freeze? drop it on YouTube. No. I want to. <laughs> I wanna drop it on YouTube. Nobody was moving. I was like, did my phone freeze? <laughs> 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 I was waiting like for her to talk. Like you said you got pulled over by the police today. Yeah, I did. I got um well thank God he got he had, uh he had got an emergency call. So he gave my ID back and and uh and just pulled off and left me. I was like, all right. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, uh, he said I was going 69 in the 50. Not nice. Yeah. You're so amateur, so you, Chris. You don't think about your insurance or nothing like that. I ain't get no ticket. Mer it mercy. Yeah, but just think about you speeding. After the podcast. <laughs> Are you trying not to get yelled at on the air? I want to see it. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> not as bad as I want to do it. <laughs> I'm so sick of this shit. Today is not a good day. And then that man, I shot my nose up right now. I just got something hanging right here. My fucking sign. 
Do you ever uh, do you have saline spray? I was gonna say yeah, get a neti pot. Yeah. yeah. No, I got a uh, that spray. I need to shoot up my nose. Hey, yeah. Yolanda. Look on my dress and give me that spray. I need to shoot on my nose. Don't you hate when shit is in your nose and it'll come down your throat? Yes. Mm. I felt so bad when we were in Atlanta. We all went to eat afterwards and you got like, I, it's like every bee attacked you. You were, uh, like, I don't know how to describe it. You had a horrible allergy attack at dinner. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. You don't like, remember that? Oh, after we yeah. Had, I felt so bad for you. I was so sick. Sometimes I get like since I've been living here in Atlanta. So I'm sorry, I just went weak. Now I have to get shots. Really? Yeah, because the pollen here is so fucked up. Does it ever freeze there and like kill all that shit? Got a chance of uh, killing the people up under the bridge before the pollen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't have made me laugh so hard, but it was just so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> just show this in court. Well, we need to take these kids from her. Look what kind of person she is. Kill people into the bridge. <laughs> hey, nah, I'm a good parent. I love you. Are. I'm a supporter. You can, I don't give a fuck what society say. I I I, I want to say, bitch. She said, I'm a good parent. Come get these niggas. I ain't getting no money for them. <laughs> I don't know how bad I want to call back up to that school and say, look, bitch, don't worry about my motherfucking children. Don't worry about them school shooters you got. Yeah. Don't worry about my motherfucking kids. I'm over here fighting for my kids. While you in there letting motherfucker, you know your brain, learning how to build a barn. And leave my kids learning some way to make money. How fast did they pull up when you got off the phone with him? <laughs> and I want him. They just told me defects. I said, ask them what the fuck they want, and I'm on my goddamn way. <laughs> like they came to to your house? Yeah, and go look in the refrigerator. I said, bitch, I ain't cleaning out the refrigerator. You let them in? They let them in. Of course no. they let them in. They stupid. They don't know oh, shit. God. They don't know shit. You don't, you, you say, no, not today. Thanks for coming by. And you, like, they don't just show up. That's not how it's supposed. This is you need a lawyer. Oh, she just. I don't need no lawyer. I don't need shit. I'm a custom some bitch out. That, that is the that. wrong strategy. You should not do that. Dion, please help. She black, Chris. It's different for us. Nigga <laughs> 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 trying to fight him the white way. <laughs> She's got money now. She can get a lawyer. Talk to them correctly. <laughs> Make him understand your side of the story. <laughs> no, the lawyers, so you don't ever talk to them. They can't do shit to you. If you don't make talk sure to them. you have bread in the house, baloney, toilet paper. <laughs> yes, have toilet paper. Do you say shut the fuck up, Chris? You black, you trying to fight in the white? <laughs> yeah, tell him. Like. I'm sorry. I I know I feel like the white guy in the barbershop sketch on SNL right now, but like you all just cuss DCS out. That's how you fight DCS. Well, how do you fight them, Chris? I I don't let them in my house, and they can't come in, and I don't talk to them, and I call a lawyer. If I mean, they, guess if what? They come in with the police and stop. No, they you. can't do that. You they white can't do nigga. Shit. You they white can't nigga. Do shit. Nigga, you white. We don't get them same privilege. If we don't open the door, they kick the motherfucking door down and stun gun the kids who they thought would get molested. <laughs> you well sounds like you're you're hoping for a lawsuit then. finally get some money for these kids let me pay it off Stu Cobb <laughs> County PD I'm gonna say no you don't let them in your house is you a fucking fool Chris your friends are black Chris we don't get the same privilege I just never let you DCS say, in your house. You can say fuck the police and, and walk away. We say fuck, fuck the police. Even the neighbors going to stun gun us. <laughs> <laughs> your neighbors. <laughs> oh, fly man. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Leave Oprah's sister alone. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you gotta stop coming to a black barbecue with white ideas. They don't work. 
<laughs> well, whatever you did today did not work either. <laughs> it was fine. You, you told the principal you were going to beat your kids. <laughs> and you're telling me I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm telling you, I quit, I can't. you telling me, get a lawyer. Don't speak to him. Shut the door. <laughs> Where's your life, coach? <laughs> well, you motherfucking black coach, nigga. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you need a black coach. <laughs> what would niggas do? That's what you need. A voice to say, what would niggas do? <laughs> We're gonna get us some black flashcards. <laughs> <laughs> like the just the more I think about it, your response to they were watching porn. I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. <laughs> beat they clicks down. Gross. Hey, we're gonna get all, we'll give a bunch of black flashcards. We'll say, what would you do on it? <laughs> <laughs> what niggas do? Chris, you got a nigga test on Friday. Did you, you better study? Did, did you guys watch Dave Chappelle's SNL? I watched oh some of it. Was hilarious. I was crying laughing. That barbershop sketch is exactly how I feel after every one of these episodes. I'm like, did I say something wrong? <laughs> it, it was great. <laughs> did you guys, so everybody thought he was being anti-Semitic. I felt he was like right up to the line, but he was not intentionally trying to be anti-Semitic. I thought his jokes were hilarious. What is so the, anti-Semitic the about saying there's a lot of Jews at Hollywood? Like, I, I, I still don't understand what the problem is. Yeah, because there's a Fer there's a lot of blacks in Ferguson, but it doesn't mean they run the place. Yeah, it's like it was his joke. I don't, I don't, I don't get what he said. That was anti anything. Yeah, I will say this: that um, that Game of Thrones was hilarious to me. Yeah, <laughs> we brought back all the old characters and Donnell. Well, he said, he said, Dracarys, can I get a light? <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so. Hard. I loved the. Uh, the potato hole sketch. <laughs> it was so freaking funny, man. Every, every single sketch in that show was great. <laughs> oh, man. I miss those little sketches he used to make. It's so freaking. That, that shit was hilarious by Kanye. Oh, that yeah. That, shit, that over the monologue had me hollering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even watch Saturday Night Live like that. But no, I catch it the next day. He said, he said, Kanye fucked up so bad, Kyrie got trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I learned in Hollywood there are two words that you can't say together, and it's the and Jews. <laughs> Never seen it work out well. <laughs> Oh, uh, you gotta go watch it. It's on Peacock. Hey, the letter yeah. that he wrote for the Jew, the letter that he wrote and read for the Jews was so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, he opened he walked out and he he read a disclaimer. That's how oh. he opened it, was a disclaimer. Oh, and they, they, now they fucking with him. I I liked watching, I rewatched it just to watch the people in the back laughing, the band. And the one there was like, I think he's like a sax player. He's like sitting down front. He's a black guy. He was just laughing, slapping his knee the whole time. But all the white people like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this country better learn how to laugh. Oh, man. Oh, his closing joke about that was great. But I don't remember what it was, but it was oh, so good. Pull it up. Oh, he said he said Kanye. He said Kanye uh, was, had an interview with Drink Tank and said, uh, you know, only millionaires wear their money in jewelry. I'm a billionaire. He said, now Kanye walking around with his change out and barefooted. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, you know, it's getting bad in this country. We need to learn to laugh. I just hope nobody takes all my stuff away from me, whoever they are. Yeah. And it was just like the perfect way to end it. <laughs> The shit is crazy. Yeah. Just don't talk about the Jews. Pretty I don't, much. I, hey, I just say choose. Well, the thing about that barbershop sketch was like, you know, isn't it just bad that everybody's anti-Semitic and then key? I mean, <laughs> the haircut, I gotta go watch it. I, I you got it. You've got to. That was great. 
Yeah, I got to. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all check me out this week. I'm in Cincinnati at the uh, Liberty City Funny Bone. I'm there. Virginia Beach the next week. Go to MissFatComedy.com and check me out because I'm going to be out in the place and we're going to get all laughs on. Oh, let me finish. All it's in December the 2nd and the 3rd. Magoobies. I'm on my way back December the 8th through the 10th. Houston, Texas. I, I am your New Year guest, the 28th through the 31st, baby. And Helium Com Comedy Club, Buffalo, uh, the top of the year. Comedy Off Broadway, Lexington. I love that club. Chicago, I'm on my way back. Detroit, I'm on my way back. <clears throat> Pittsburgh, St. San Jose, and I have so many more dates that, to add. So y'all make sure y'all check me out this week in Cincinnati. Saturday is already sold out for uh, the second show, first show or second show. So so make sure you get your tickets and come on and get your laugh on. Because I ain't going to be doing nothing inside traumatic. I ain't going to be saying nothing wrong. I'm going to do everything right. <laughs> You just said that wrong. <laughs> anti traumatic. What? <laughs> what the world? <laughs> what is it? That's what it is. Anti Semitic. What did I say? I don't we know. have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you sound sort of like Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like you had your mouth drilled today. Well, Herschel Walker talking back, but she's talking cursive. <laughs> you might be right day to day. my lip just now starting to feel like a normal lip my lip felt like it was about the like, size of a like the creases of your mouth hurt and it's all sore from the holding it no, open all right here just felt like it was that big Ugh. so now my sinus is draining because he stuck me up there I can feel it and I told him I said whatever you stuck you stuck it in my nose I felt, uh. it felt like I was getting a COVID test uh, and, and he was all up in now. I ain't feel no pain, but that shit coming down now. But we'll be back here next week to do the same old thing. Hey, make sure you save the date. And then you, did y'all see that they announced I'm going to be on Burt Kreischer Cruise? Yes. That's the week after the Crack Baby party. Dang, sure so, is. Make sure y'all make sure y'all save the date for the crack baby party. And if you want to join me on the cruise, do that too. Shit. Oh, that'll be two whole weeks together. You should come with us, uh uh Chris and Dion. We're we're Reagan and I are talking about it. Yeah, y'all should come. I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> and I, I normally would never go on a cruise. Yeah, ever. I'm not I, I don't fuck with boats like that at all. But, but. for you. For you, I, I would. Yeah, you should come. We we we're gonna have a fucking blast. <laughs> it's like that you know what? I'm just. I'm it's just like the Game of Thrones. <laughs> yes, thank you. We love being on boats. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Keenan, when you know, in Game of Thrones, the new one, they have the black character who's head of the. He's like the master seaman, and they're making fun of the fact that they put him in charge. <laughs> Say of that one boat. more time, Chris. Master seaman. <laughs> The black one is the master <laughs> seaman. So I'm, I'm, I don't know what a master sailor. <laughs> so I'm, talk <laughs> I'm not saying again now that I know you guys are making fun of me. <laughs> so I'm talking to Kiara today, right? See how dumb I am. So I'm talking to uh, uh, Kiara today. And uh, so she says, uh, That's Nikea's wife. Yeah. So she said, she said, so she telling me, she said, all these squirrels in the ceiling. And the lady came in and said that they left, they left nuts everywhere. And I said, those squirrels are nutted in your ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? The squirrels jacking off now. She's like, no, the nuts they eat, that's all I could think of. Cause what, you know, when I lived in Riverdale, the squirrels upstairs used to be fucking all the time. And so I would wake my husband up, like, look, there, they're fucking. You want to join them? <laughs> he's like, they're ho she's a hoe. Because they went at it every night. She's like, ooh, I have a squirrel beside me. <laughs> and a squirrel screamer. <laughs> popped out that vent, the whole house went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he fucked that bitch till she fell out the wall. Down the wall one day. <laughs> That bitch popped down, <laughs> pulled up her underwear, and I ran that hole up out of my house. 
<laughs> so, you know, I, I didn't know. I don't know if squirrels get along. I ain't never seen sex. I've never seen that on tape of squirrel having sex. Ask one of the kids to Google it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you got apparently got a research team that you can tap into. Did y'all hear about the did y'all hear about the monkey at the uh at they say it happened at Atlanta Zoo that was jacking off in front of the kids and he wouldn't stop? Oh yeah, I seen he was jacking off upside down. <laughs> Upside down. Yeah, I like that nigga talented. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that feel. Does that make the orgasm come quicker or what? <laughs> I'm trying to find that video. They said somebody said only in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was jacking upside down and he went to the kids to the glass and he started jacking off front like yep. chained that thing up. <laughs> That's what they told me. Y'all heard about that? I have not heard I about have- Man, I, I, if I find out, I, I see no Instagram. <laughs> I can't find it. Thank God. <laughs> but I know his head, I know his blood is rushing to his head upside down. I'm like, dang. <laughs> no. Nope. Not going to show you that. Yeah, the monkey. Uh, they said the monkey in the lounge. And ran up there and did it in front of the kids. Remember the time we played a guy fucking a chicken on this show? <laughs> <laughs> what were we thinking? I wasn't here for that. Was. It was, he was that really was courtesy going. of Quisha. Yeah. <laughs> Text Quisha. Quisha has this monkey jacking off. Did she start a restaurant? She did. Yeah. <clears throat> what kind I don't know of- if it's open. A, a crab restaurant. Crab mm. trap. Something I believe so. Yeah, crab yeah, restaurant. We, we should go to the grand open. Yeah, we should. should. Uh, I'm gonna ask her when is it. I don't know if she got any crabs in yet. <laughs> just harvesting from those crackheads next door. Y'all motherfucker crazy with that about her shop, but we gonna see if she get any crabs. If she don't, I know. The health department can give her many before they kill them. Oh my God. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's no, got the lead on nearly expired crabs from the health department. <laughs> Quisha's discount crab shack. <laughs> she's about to open it soon. It's nice. It's so silly. I, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to a grand opener. Grand opening, but I don't know when it is. Yeah, if y'all in New York, please go see Jordan play Ain't No Mo. It's on Broadway. It is so fucking good. Go see Ain't No Mo. It is on Broadway right now. Okay. All right. With that said, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. And whatever that doctor did to me, it is coming down like a motherfucking waterfall. <laughs> I love you guys. Make sure y'all go check me out in Cincinnati this week. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat. <laughs>